Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today I'm doing a long-term review of this lens right here, the Panasonic Leica 8-18mm f2.8 to f4. Let's go! So the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 mm f2.8 to f4. This is now currently my favorite wide angle lens. I bought this lens about one year ago and I had my initial impressions, my initial thoughts about the lens. I put the video up here so you can watch it. But today I wanna share my observations, my experience, my long-term review after using this lens for one year. Now let's talk about some basic specification of this lens. The Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 mm is basically a wide angle lens. So the focal length goes from 8 mm all the way to 18 mm. That's about 16 to 36 mm in full frame term. And 8 mm is very wide. I would consider it as an ultra wide angle focal length. And 18 mm is somewhat normal wide. This is really flexible kind of lens because you can go back and forth between ultra wide and normal wide kind of focal lengths. And then the aperture, uh, if you zoom it out to eight millimeter, you can go down to f2.8, very, very bright. And if you zoom in to 18 millimeter, uh, it'll go to only f4, but f4 is actually more than good enough for most of the applications of this lens. Looking at the construction of the lens, the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter is actually quite a very basic lens there's no fancy switches and whatnot it only has this autofocus manual focus switch right here and then also there's that zoom ring right here and manual focus ring right here a pretty simple lens and also it's not really that heavy it looks big but actually it's only 315 grams so it's about the same weight as the panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 and the size is almost the same as well but the panasonic leica is slightly taller compared to the 12 to 35 millimeter Another interesting feature of this lens that you cannot see straight away is that this lens is weather sealed. So it's okay to use this lens in bad weather condition when it's raining, when it's shower, where there's splashes, where it's really cold, you'll get no problem using this lens. Also, I should point out that this lens right here has filter thread on the front part of the lens right here. So you can attach any filter, CPL filter, and other kind of filters as well for long exposure photography, for landscape photography, and also for recording video if you want to use variable ND filter to get that shutter speed correctly for your video. This lens also comes with lens hood and lens cap. However, I bought this lens used so it doesn't come with the lens hood. And for the lens cap, because I'm using this magnetic filter adapter on the filter thread right here, I can use magnetic lens cap so it's quite convenient. Now let's talk about the use cases of the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter. And I think personally, there are two use cases where the Panasonic Leica really shines and those are landscape photography and travel photography. Speaking about travel photography and landscape photography, I recently just got back from a trip to New Zealand where I brought this lens and I recorded some vlogs while I was there. Uh, I'm doing this photography tutorial, POV kind of style, so you can really see from the first person point of view how I make decisions, how I change the settings on the camera when I try to come up with some photographs and you can check out the vlogs up here. Also, I made a, an observation video, a review video about the gears that I brought to New Zealand, also featuring the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter, how these gears work during my trip to New Zealand, and you can also check out that video right here. So now let's talk about travel photography using the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter. And right away, I can say that this is the best lens for travel photography. First of all, it goes really wide to eight millimeter. When you're traveling, usually you want a wide angle lens because you'll mostly encounter sceneries, you're in a garden or you're in a lookout overlooking that beautiful city that you are visiting and with a wide angle lens like this, you'll be able to capture such sceneries easily. And yeah, not only wide angle stuff, but you can also zoom this lens to about 18 millimeter. So it's also useful for environmental 
important as well. If you're traveling with a family member or with friends, you can go to 18 millimeter, try to capture half body portrait of your friend or family member with the beautiful scenery behind. You'll be able to do it with this lens. And also 18 millimeter is a little bit tight. So it's actually perfect for street photography as well. If you want to try to capture a wider angle street photography, if you're encountering strangers walking past a nice shop, you want to try to capture that. This lens can also do that as well. Also, the 8 to 18 millimeter has a really nice close focusing distance. So if you're in a market, you want to try to capture something that uh, somebody sells in the market. It looks really nice. You can try to uh, get close and capture uh, that product. Or if you encounter a really nice looking flower on the street, you can try to get close to that flower and capture it with this lens as well. Now let's talk about landscape photography using the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter. And right away, I can also say that this is the perfect lens for landscape photography. I originally bought this lens with landscape photography in mind because I want to try to capture that classic wide angle landscape photos with the foreground of interest like a small rock or flower with the beautiful scenery behind that kind of stuff. And this lens at 8 millimeter really can deliver that kind of shots. Also for landscape photography, this lens is actually very flexible because you can zoom to 18 millimeter and you have the option between 8 to 18 to perfectly frame your composition if 8 millimeter is too wide. And yeah, that makes this lens very flexible for landscape photography. And also there are two features on this lens that I think is very important for landscape photography. First, you have the filter thread as I mentioned before. So you can use Andy filters to capture that long exposure shots, especially if you wanna try to capture a water scenarios, like if you're in the lake or you're on the beach, or if you wanna try to get that smooth looking cloud on the sky, you can do that with this lens. And also the second feature that's also important is weather sealing. Usually when you're doing landscape photography, you'll encounter all sorts of different kinds of weather from sunny weather all the way to rain, snow, and that kind of stuff. And with weather sealing, you don't really have to worry about using this lens in those kind of weather. So yeah, the 8 to 18 millimeter is really perfect for landscape photography. Now let's talk about the image quality of the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter. And right away, I can say with that Leica branding, you expect the image quality to be good. And the reality is the image quality is excellent. Everything is very sharp. It's very detailed. Everything looks very contrasty. The colors are really punchy. Just what you expect from a Leica branded lens. One very important thing that I noticed from this lens is that this lens handles flares and ghosting really nicely, especially compared with some other wide angle lens, especially when you're shooting directly into the sun or a very bright light source. No, it's not perfect. You'll still see a little bit of, you know, a ghosting and artifacts of flares, but it's not as offending as my other wide angle lenses, especially like the Lawa 7.5 millimeter and the Panasonic 7 to 14 millimeter F4. There are some other things that I need to mention regarding image quality. First, vignetting. Vignetting is not really that bad with this lens, especially when you compare it with some other wide angle lenses. At 8mm f2.8, you will see some vignetting on the corners of your image, but that's easily solved by stopping down to f4 or f5.6. Also, autofocus. I want to mention a little bit about autofocus. If you use single autofocus with this lens, it's really fast, it's really accurate, and for a wide angle lens, it's actually a really nice thing to have. And also, as I mentioned earlier, close focusing distance is quite nice with this lens as well. You can really get close to a flower and capture it nicely with this lens. Now that I've talked about all the good things from this lens, I also want to mention some negative points about this lens. Actually, there's only one negative point with this lens, and that is the variable maximum aperture. At 8mm, this lens can go to f2.8 maximum aperture, but when you zoom it in all the way to 18mm, it starts to become smaller and smaller to become f4. So 
not really a big deal, but I prefer a lens with a constant aperture like constant f2.8 or constant f4. However, if you make it a constant f2.8 aperture with this lens, I'm pretty sure that the lens will become bigger, heavier, and more expensive. So yeah, not really a big problem, but just something that I want to share to you. Besides the a variable aperture there's nothing really bad with this lens so i can really recommend this lens if you are looking for a wide angle lens for your micro four thirds camera especially if you want to do travel photography or landscape photography now let's talk about some alternative lenses that you should also consider when you're considering the 8 to 18 millimeter first let's talk about this small little guy right here this is the Lawa 7.5 mm f2, another great wide angle lens for micro four thirds. If you're looking for something smaller, something lighter with slightly larger aperture, if you don't mind a manual focus lens and a fixed focal length, then this is your choice right there. And then there's also the Olympus 9 to 18 mm f4 to f5.6. This is also smaller, lighter, not as expensive. However, I don't really recommend this lens because there's an issue with this lens. The ribbon cable inside is actually broken and so many people's 9 to 18 millimeter are also broken and also same issue, the ribbon cable inside. So yeah, I don't really recommend the Olympus 9 to 18. However, there are also the Panasonic 7 to 14 millimeter f4. It's not as tight as the 8 to 18. It can only go to 14 millimeter. However, it's slightly wider. But one thing about that lens that I don't really like is that it doesn't have the filter strap, so you cannot really attach ND filter or CPL or that kind of filters. Also, there's the Olympus 7 to 14 millimeter f2.8, another great lens, but it's heavier, it's more expensive, it's bigger as well, and also no filter thread. Uh, I think there's also the Olympus 8 to 25 millimeter f4. That lens is much more flexible compared to the 8 to 18 Panasonic Leica. It's also weather sealed. It has filter thread, just a perfect lens. However, it is more expensive and it's bigger and it's just more heavy as well. So yeah, those are all your alternative lenses for the 8 to 18 millimeter. So yeah, in conclusion, the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter is a great wide angle lens for micro four thirds. If you're looking for a wide angle lens, this is your guy right there. It's quite a flexible lens, especially for travel and for landscape photography. It is weather sealed, autofocus is really nice, image quality undoubtedly really good, especially with the Leica branding. So yeah, a very solid lens and I can really recommend this lens for you who are looking for wide angle lens for micro four thirds. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that today's video is useful, informative. And also if you have any questions about this lens, please comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. And also comment down below, what is your favorite wide angle lens for micro four thirds or for any camera format if you're not using micro four thirds. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and goodbye.